1, 2, 3. In this video, we'll present a few other popular algebraic reconstruction methods. Now in CERT, each iteration contains the forward and back projection along each detector value. In contrast to this, each iteration of the algebraic reconstruction technique, also called ART, only uses a single detector value to update the reconstruction. And in general, this means that the ART algorithm reaches a solution much more quickly than CERT, but it does not have stable convergence if the system of equation is inconsistent, for example, due to noisy measurements. In the simultaneous algebraic reconstruction technique, or SART, each iteration updates all detector values that belong to a single projection direction. That way, it combines the increased reconstruction stability of CERT with the increased convergence speed of the algebraic reconstruction technique, ART. Now the order in which the projection directions are chosen is essential for optimal reconstruction quality. Doing them sequentially is a very bad idea, as each subsequent projection brings relatively little new information to update. Instead, doing them in a random order is much better in terms of accuracy and convergence speed. Another variation on SART is what we call ordered subset SERT in which two or more projection directions are used in each iteration. A second class of algebraic reconstruction methods are Krylov subspace methods. Without going into too much detail, the main difference between CERT-like techniques and Krylov methods is that in CERT, the search direction in each iteration is determined only on the projection difference at that point. With Krylov methods, however, the search directions of all the previous iterations are also taken in, into account. At iteration k, the solution is then a linear combination of the subspace spanned by the data and the first k-1 powers of the system matrix. And in the case of tomography, CGLS, or conjugate gradient least squares, is the most popular Krylov-based reconstruction technique. It solves the normal equations of our algebraic tomography model using a conjugate gradient approach. In general, it converges to a solution much faster than CERT, but it does have a large memory footprint. <laughs>